What if we lived in a world where we could hear each other's thoughts? Hmm, would that be something really overwhelming? Or maybe it would be nice to live in a society where no lies exist. She said that she really liked the style of my videos, but then I asked her that question myself, so maybe she was just being nice. Even though there would be no such thing as lying, I would then be exposed to listen to everyone's thoughts. Every day, every hour, every minute. How would we survive that? Would I really want to hear the truth from the others all the time, or would I prefer them to hide it deep inside? And never tell me what they really think. Noise. It's everywhere. This world is overflowing with information. Someone once said to me, there is always a good side to something that one might see as harmful or redundant. And I found that I do agree with that. We decide what we listen to and how we react, and therefore what meaning to derive from it. In this world, you can never choose to stop hearing, but what you can and maybe should do is to stop listening. I used to overreact a lot as a teenager and I would feel the sudden urge to contradict anyone whose opinion would clash with mine. For some reason I just couldn't accept the idea of the differences in people's opinions so whenever somebody would tell me I was wrong in doing what I did or in thinking what I used to think it would drive me crazy. You know that feeling when you're absolutely certain that you're doing the right thing and that you're doing it really well and then someone starts to criticize you or puts your abilities under a question. And it doesn't have to be a group of people saying that because at that time one person could be enough for me. And that alone can truly be classified as one of those occasions when you choose to listen without really thinking about how useful that information would be to you. You do not just hear it and put it out of your mind. You intentionally focused on that information that that person had to say to you. And you don't often even need a reasonable evidence from them to prove their critique against you. Because you've heard enough to get irritated. And the validity of the point doesn't really matter. Because you're going to do everything to prove yourself right, to defend your point. And you know, there would always be that strange feeling after one of those arguments, as if I have just given some part of me away. The part that helped me sustain those ideas on which my personality was built. The part that would have reassured me on the rightness of my actions or decisions was now passed on to another person who did not even need to have it. Because they will stick to their own opinion anyway. That's just the way we all are. Considering only our point of view to be right and consequently doing our best to prove everyone else wrong. To be honest, after one of those arguments, I would feel so satisfied that I managed to prove my point to somebody even though I suppose deep down I knew that that person didn't really care about what I'd got to say. And you know, thinking about this now, I do understand that if they wanted to criticize me, they would just go on doing that. See, I could never stop listening to what other people had got to say about me. Hence, I could never prevent my efforts to prove myself right. And that was draining me more and more. People like scandals, they like drama, they like to make you agitated and then observe. Observe you acting while they rest, rest their unflinching gaze upon you. And those who listen often start to act, and those who speak, they often stay dormant, without any need. 
to listen. And there it is, the paradox of a human mind. Open your mind to the incessant flow of the information around, and you will soon find your source of agitation. And then, you do not have to wait long until it kicks in and you start to react. And let me ask you, what comes after your reaction? What do you feel after you've just confronted someone who said some derogatory comments about you or the things you do? You feel drained? Wow, that's quite a surprise. And a couple of years ago, I would have said that I felt drained, exhausted, but not anymore. I guess if we just try to filter what we expose our minds to, what we let flow into our ears, we would suddenly discover this benevolent side of something that at first sight might seem so ominous and bad. Because information can be beneficial in right amounts, and with the right purpose behind using it. And so, if you just start to focus on what you personally want from this life, and not on what the others ask from you or criticize you for, you will discover yourself on a completely different path. A path to self-refinement. A path to fulfillment of your goals and dreams and a path to being yourself.